Welcome to PC Wits Kits Tech Talk. Today we're looking from OCC, the Mod Extreme Pro 700 watt power supply. Now this power supply, the Mod Extreme series, actually comes also in a 500 and a 600 watt depending on your needs. Now the 700 watt is more than enough to deal with the latest video cards, so the 5800 series, the AMDs, the Core i7s. So if you're looking to put the latest and overclock it, this is definitely something you want to consider two 12 volt rails 25 amps each so there you go so this is certified for SLI okay and 80 plus certified as well obviously you can use it for crossfire and it has three years warranty okay so it's something that you look for in a power supply the warranty and a nice 135 millimeter uh, variable fan that adjusts and modular in design now that's the key uh, part here that I love about this one is simple straightforward to use legend here so you can plug in the cables so your PCI Express your SATA connectors all of those power connectors of course it comes with a couple of plugs already attached to the power supply the 4 pin power the 8 pin power and the 20 plus 4 motherboard connector right so you need those those come by default already attached but all of the other modular cables come in a nice little bag here and um, you can go through them and select the ones that you need as you install things, right? So if you have one video card, then you would use, you know, uh, a certain set of PCI Express cables, right? If you have a SATA or, or a IDE drive, then you would use those. And here's the list of the different types of cables, of course, that it comes with. So that way you have that for your reference. And um, that's uh, pretty much it. It comes, of course, with uh, four screws. So you can attach it to the case and the power cable as well, okay? Now, in my test system, I, as I mentioned, I'm using the Phenom uh, 2X4965, 3.4 gigahertz. I've even overclocked it. I've got the HD4890 video card overclocked as well. So we do stress test the system. We put it at 100% load to make sure that it's able to keep up, that there's no glitches. Uh, and obviously, this uh, nice little guy here installs pretty neat. You can organize the cables and use twist ties and keep them nice and neat in there. But as you can see, the rest of the case very very clutter free no cables dangling going across anywhere everything's nice and uh, airflow is going through and that's what you want and this power supply allows you to do that right because it's modular so you always look for modular design to keep your case nice and clean cool and quiet now um, the uh, tests that I did here in Windows 7 as you can see on no load uh, the voltage levels are dead on right so it's pretty good it's consistent in the power uh, it's not um, falling short which is what you look for right you don't want something that's uh, that doesn't have quality uh, components in it at full load it's able to keep up with the delivery and um, as you can see the voltage levels do increase okay so uh, it is able to to keep up with the peak demands there now that's definitely something you want to look for 80 plus certification SLI crossfire enabled and ready and that's what you want especially if it's modular and you're looking to to put a gaming rig together this is something I definitely recommend okay so I'd like to thank OCC for uh, providing it and I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching